Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to the first video of Owen Aquatics. I'm your host, Owen, and this is a channel about fish tanks and ponds. Let's get straight into the video. So today's subject is my guppy breeder tank. So, let me tell you why I chose guppies to breed instead of any other fish. First off, they're like one of the easiest fish to breed. You just put two females and a male together and she'll be pregnant, well both of them will probably be pregnant within like a day or two, and then you just wait 30 days and they have live young that you just take out and put them in one of these things. And so, and second off, they're not that expensive, they're pretty cheap for beginners. So now for some tips and tricks on guppy breeding. First off, you need to get the right ratio. There's actually two. You need the right amount of guppies for ga per gallons of your aquarium. I have a 10 gallon, so I got 10 guppies. And you need to get the right amount of males and females. I have um, two males and eight females. The reason I only have two males and eight females is because so these little males don't get intimidated by other males and they will impregnate the females quicker. You need lots of plants for your baby fry to hide in. First off, I have some Java moss, which is very recommended in the guppy community. It is very good for baby fry to hide in, as you can see, and so the moms can lay their uh, babies in there gives them a sense of protection. You need, I like this, I don't know what it's called, but I like it. <laughs> and I just got some bamboo from my pond, got all this stuff, just lots of plants, lots of plants for them. It's good to oxygenate, oxygenate the water and, and just give some hiding places for baby fry. Also, you'll need one of these. They're basically just like these floating plant kind of things. They're kind of cool. I have a few of them. I have one over here. I don't want it blocking the light out for the plants, so I took it out. But they're very good for the baby fry to hide in, too. Okay, so third off, you'll have to get a cover for that filter. See, I don't have one right now. I'm going to make one soon so the baby fry don't get sucked up in there. It's very good to have that. Um... Okay, let's see. What else is there? You'll also need a heater. It's good for um, these guys to mate, to have babies. It's better for them to keep the water about 78. That's what this heater is doing. It came with the fish tank, which is really good. And fifth off, you'll need something to keep the babies in because these guys, they don't seem that vicious, but they will eat their babies. Like they'll come right out of them and then they'll just go eat them. So you need one of these and you'll need a tiny net. I don't have it on hand right now, but you'll need that. And so you just set that in the water right there. There are many different versions of this. See, I have a few here. I'll show you some recommendations. Oh. So I have this. My brother put a magnet on it. And so this one would work. And we used to have another one, but it, it got stepped on too many times. <clears throat> and finally, six off, you'll definitely need some food. I keep it in the drawer right here. I'm thinking of getting a frog soon, so I'm going to keep this. But I'm feeding them with the food that came with the tank was it's just for it's some tropical flakes it's perfect for these guys because they're tropical and then my brother ground up some of that stuff into here it's super tiny for the baby fry don't go buying that stuff that's made for babies like it's just ground up food honestly you'll need to condition the water if you're doing new water and add bacteria when you're creating a new tank. Let's see. Oh, I have some of these if you ever get some quarries. 
right there. I have an emerald quarry in here. And uh, I have another one in here somewhere. But if you want a quarry or a pleco, you'll definitely need some of these for them. They love them. And so, yeah, that's all you need, really. Make sure to add bacteria to your aquarium before adding the fish. And make sure to acclimate them when you buy them for 30 minutes. Otherwise, these guys will die immediately. And who wants that? Am I right? Peace out, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye.